Let's get real. Politicians and religious leaders are failing the United States. They may be failing in other countries, but I'm in the United States. They're failing us. And I'm going to tell you why they're failing us. They're just passed a tax bill. And it's going to supposedly reduce taxes. Thing is, it's not going to reduce taxes for everybody. It's going to reduce taxes greatly for rich people. It's not going to do the same for the middle class, which I'm part of. It's not going to do the same for the poor. The reason they're saying they're doing this is because they say it's going to create jobs. It's never created jobs before. <laughs> it didn't create jobs under Reagan. It didn't create jobs under Bush. It's not going to create jobs now. Here's the thing, and this is not really a political rant, by the way, but stick with me. The thing is that we, the people, in general, average, big numbers, don't want this tax break bill. We didn't want it at all. We're not going to win this one, but this is something that the Republicans basically have wanted for the longest time, but no one else is clamoring for it. I mean, do we all want lower taxes? Yes. But do the majority of people recognize that this isn't anything we're getting? Yes, we realize this is not going to help any of us. It's really not. It may help a small minority of people, but it's not going to help me. Now, earlier in the summer, there was this big push to overturn the Affordable Care Act. And the only people who wanted to overturn it were Republicans. It turned out that somewhere around 73 to 74% of the population did not want healthcare overturned. We wanted the bill fixed. We wanted certain things that, you know, we didn't have before. And we wanted some other things that we kind of have to deal with taken away or modified, but no one wanted it taken away. It turns out that a great majority of people who voted this new administration into the White House, for whatever reason, didn't think that they would lose their health care. And when it got close, they worried about it a lot. They didn't want it to be gone. And it took a miracle vote by John McCain to keep health care. Yet, this tax bill is basically, my term, emasculated it. It's basically going to kill health care in a lot of places in this country. And they don't care. Even though the majority of people are saying that's not what we want, they don't care. This is about leadership. You know, I was on the board of directors for a local organization for 13 years, and we had an executive director, and one of the things that he recognized is that at any time, we could vote him out. It turns out that we could have voted him out at any time. Yes, he led the organization, and he put all these things together, and we would have monthly meetings, and he would tell us everything that had happened with the organization. We knew what the financial status was because I was a finance chairperson for uh, two terms. That's basically four years. We always knew everything that was going on because he knew that he worked basically for us. We controlled his salary. We rated him. That's how it works in the nonprofit side. Uh, it should work that way in the profit side, uh, though most of the times we're hearing about battles between CEOs <laughs> and the board if they're not getting along. And the board can sometimes vote those CEOs out. Steve Jobs got voted out. Because with everything else, the majority wins. Not that the majority is always right, but the majority wins. In essence, if you're not acquiescing to the needs of the people, or in particular cases, the people who voted you in and brought you there, if you're not acquiescing to their wishes, you got to go. This doesn't work in Congress. I mean, they're not doing what the people want. And they're not asking us. And they're not even explaining themselves to us. And they go on TV later on and they basically lie to us and say, well, this is what the people wanted. You know what? The people did not want health care gone. They wanted it fixed. The overall majority of the people don't want this tax thing gone. We don't want net neutrality. I mean, we do want net neutrality. We didn't want this guy to go in and kill it. We don't want this woman who's in charge of the education department who basically wants to gut the thing. We don't want her there. In essence, this is a major leadership fail. Yes, if you run your own company 
and you don't have a board of directors, you can do anything you want to, to a point. If you're not satisfying your customers, then your business is going to fail. If you don't recognize that your employees or customers, your business is going to fail because they're going to try to find a way to bring you down. <laughs> they don't care that you're paying them. If you're not treating enough people right, they're going to bring you down. That's what's happening on a major political level. Let's talk about religion really quick. Let's go back to the Alabama thing. Basically, you had a state that almost elected a known pedophile. Yes, he was not convicted of it, but over the years, local businesses had basically banned him from going there because he had this thing, this predilection for young girls. And they came out and they said this stuff. And he basically lost a major election out of 1.3 million voters by 20 thousand and why was it that close because religious leaders in that area said well it's not that bad or these other people may be lying everybody's not lying how do you now lose your morality to basically come close to putting a pedophile in office you know what leaders are failing us we need to break this habit I'm calling out names in 2018 and beyond I've decided that it's time to be a little bit more authentic sometimes with these things. And we just got to call it as it is. This is bad leadership. We've got bad leadership everywhere. Uh, when I wrote my first book back in 2002, uh, <laughs> I had found a statistic that said over 85% of people in leadership positions that never led anything else before in their lives. I'm betting that number's higher now. And you know what? We need to fix this. We need to have people who are willing to be leaders, not be in leadership positions, willing to be leaders, willing to help grow new leaders, willing to do what's right instead of what's right for them. That's my position. Let's see what you have to say. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, this was not a political dis you know, discussion because, you know what, if you don't trust me, you don't believe my numbers, go look it up for yourself. Find out the numbers. See how many people actually wanted this tax bill. See how many people actually wanted net neutrality to go away. And see how many people, percentages, really wanted health care to disappear. I'm just saying. So my name is Mitch Mitchell. It's going to get real. Let's talk. Have a great one.